Lawrence Ellison was born on the 17th of August 1977 to a single Jewish mother in New York City, USA. His biological father was a United States Army Air Corps pilot of Italian origin. Lawrence encountered his first rejection in life when his biological mother refused to have anything to do with him after he contracted pneumonia at the age of 9 months. She gave Lawrence to her aunt and uncle for adoption and did not make any efforts to be in her life afterwards. Lawrence was taken to Chicago's South Shore where his adoptive parents lived. Growing up in the care of his adoptive parents was difficult for Lawrence. While his adoptive mother was warm and caring towards him, his adoptive father was cold and distant and was often mean to him. Lawrence was raised in a reformed Jewish home by his adoptive parents and he attended synagogue regularly with them. But he did not make Lawrence religious in any way. While he identified as Jewish in terms of cultural identity, he never subscribed to any of the Jewish doctrines. This intensified a rift that existed between him and his adoptive father. At the onset of his adolescence, Lawrence found himself drawn to the wonders of the computer. He read any book or article he could find on software creation and programming. This was a flair that he continued to have until he completed his elementary and secondary education in Chicago and then proceeded to the University of Illinois in Urbana campaign. He withdrew from school after his second year when his adoptive mother passed on. Because he didn't have a stable relationship with his adoptive father and had no known relative, he felt so desolate and bereft again. This culminated in depression and made him unable to complete his final exams. After he dropped out, Lawrence was at loss for what to do with his life. So he moved back to Chicago where he enrolled in the University of Chicago. At this new institution, he learned computer design. He didn't have the financial or emotional stability to complete his studies, so he dropped out after a semester. Lawrence soon found a job in the employ of Ampex and moved to Berkeley, California. While working there, he never neglected his age-long interest in programming. He continued to learn more about programming and he spent his free time practicing all he had learned. He stumbled on Edgar F. Code's research on relational database design and this led to the formation of his software company called Oracle. His company, Oracle, had so many ups and downs. Lawrence worked so hard on Oracle for years but nothing seemed to pan out. All his efforts to keep the company afloat proved abortive. At some point, he had to mortgage his house to obtain a line of credit to sustain the business. The failure of this company tried to discourage him but by his experiences in life, Lawrence had cultivated some form of dogged resilience. He continued to devote his time and resources to Oracle for 8 years until the company stabilized and found success. As of October 2019, Lawrence Ellison was listed by Forbes magazine as the 6th wealthiest person in the world. So, here's the thing. Anyone who hopes to brave the storm of life must stay focused on their goal. Events like rejection, failure are only forms of distractions and if we give in to them, we will lose sight of our ultimate target in life. Dennis Waitley said, failure should be our teacher and our undertaker. Failure is a delay, not defeat. It is a temporary detour, not a dead end. When we quit because of failure, we just show how undeserving of success we are. No one should see failure as the end of the road. Napoleon Hill said, Most great people have achieved their great success just one step beyond their greatest failure. When it seems all hope is lost, we should keep working on our dreams because success could be close at hand. Jack Canfield said, Don't worry about failure. Worry about the chances you miss when you don't even try. Your habits regarding failures determines how far you can go in life. Your habit is your future. Lawrence Ellison's success could be attributed to his resilience, his resolve to continue trying even when his company was failing.